The cooling system is one of the most critical elements of engine performance and reliability, but is often the most neglected maintenance item for all vehicles on the road today. Owner's manuals, like this one, recommend flushing the cooling system at least once during the warranty period and regularly afterwards to prevent harmful buildup of contaminants that can clog radiators and heater cores or damage water pumps. Despite the recommendation, proper cooling system flushes are not being performed for several reasons. The original equipment warranty period has expired and the end user does not want to pay for the recommended service. Many flushes are performed on the radiator only but do not include the engine block or heater core leaving most contaminants still in the system. Compounding this problem, improper coolant pH levels, the use of tap water rather than distilled water, accidental mixing of different types of coolant, and even a poor understanding of system chemistry by original equipment manufacturers all contribute to unacceptable levels of contamination. The result of this improper maintenance is undetected component wear by the consumer and reduced engine cooling efficiency leading to water pump failure. Here's a water pump exhibiting the effects of system contamination. Notice the amount of residue around the impeller. Coolant contamination is like sand in the system and will damage water pump seals prematurely, voiding the manufacturer's warranty. This water pump cutaway will show how cooling system neglect can damage the water pump seal. The water pump bearing shaft connects the impeller to the fan clutch through the center of the seal. As you can see, the seal is very small but performs a critical task of allowing these parts to spin freely at high RPMs while at the same time keeping coolant from leaking from the system. Here is a seal that has been disassembled. To prevent coolant leaks, the back half of the seal must mate perfectly against the front half as it spins. Notice the highly polished surfaces on this new seal. By comparison, here is a water pump seal that has been damaged by contaminants in the cooling system. These scratches on the seal face allow coolant to leak past the seal and out of the weep hole, potentially damaging the bearings and leading to premature pump failure. Here's the bottom line. The cooling system needs to be properly maintained with periodic flushing, a complete system flush that includes the radiator, heater core, and engine block is critical before changing the water pump. That is especially true if the system has been neglected. Research conducted on water pump warranty returns, or water pumps that have been returned to the manufacturer as allegedly defective, reveals that less than 8% of shop repair orders include a system flush. That causes failed pumps. Based on this new information, the automotive service industry needs to do additional education to understand and communicate the importance of proper cooling system maintenance to both technicians and consumers. Systems that have been neglected for an extended period of time present a special problem for technicians because a routine flush will not remove enough of the contaminants. Additionally, many technicians may flush only the radiator using a basic water hose rather than a flush machine or tool. To help technicians thoroughly clean neglected systems, protect water pump warranties, and prevent customer comebacks, Gates recommend using a new power clean flush tool with a pulsating feature available as part number 91002. We'll demonstrate the effectiveness of the new tool on each of the cooling system components in the following video segments. Before working on the cooling system, make sure the engine is at room temperature. Never remove a radiator cap on a hot engine. Coolant under pressure can geyser from the radiator causing severe burns, so allow the engine to cool first. Also, coolants, especially contaminated ones, are poisonous and must be handled according to federal, state, and local regulations. For that reason, we recommend using large tubs to capture any coolant that leaks from the system. Normal flush procedures do not remove enough contaminants on neglected systems, so before demonstrating the Power Clean Flush Tool, We'll flush each component of the system with water from a garden hose since this is the procedure used by a high percentage of technicians. We'll filter the contaminants during each step so you can see how much contamination is removed by the common water hose flush. Then, we'll use the Power Clean Flush tool to demonstrate the amount of contamination and debris that the basic or routine flush procedure does not remove. First, we'll drain the coolant and pour it into a clear container to visually check the condition of the coolant. This vehicle is a 1999 Dodge Durango with 90,000 miles and has never had the water pump replaced. So we expect to see some contamination. With the coolant drain, 
Kalen, our tech, will open the drain valve and allow water to drain from both ends of the radiator tank. She'll attach a flexible hose to the lower radiator outlet and place a white sock on the other end. The sock will better show any rust and debris that we flush from the system. Let's get started with the garden hose flush. Kalen will hold the garden hose in the top of the radiator as we watch for discoloration of the sock. We'll flush for two to three minutes, but speed up the video so you'll see the entire process in just a few seconds. After filtering the water, here is the amount of contamination we flushed out of the radiator. Our process will be the same with the heater core. In this case, we've removed the heater control valve and connected the garden hose to the inlet heater hose with a simple adapter. Notice the sock reveals much more contamination in the heater core. The sock will collect the flush water as we again speed up the video. After filtering the water, here is the amount of contamination we flushed out of the heater core. We're repeating the process with the engine block. Kalen has removed the thermostat so there is no restriction and reattached the upper radiator hose to the thermostat housing. We'll run the garden hose as before and check the contamination that is flushed from the system through the lower radiator hose. Here's the contamination left on the paper filter from the engine block after flushing. Now that we've flushed each component with a standard garden hose, we're ready to connect the power clean tool and see the effectiveness of this new procedure for improperly maintained cooling systems. The power clean tool uses only water and shop compressed air. It connects to the components with simple hand pressure and adapters. The first step is to attach the backflow preventer to the hose. This will keep water moving in only one direction. Next, connect the water hose and turn on the water supply fully. Set your shop air regulator to supply a minimum of 75 PSI and a maximum of 200 PSI of air pressure and then connect the air hose to the spray nozzle. The regulator on the tool is preset at 75 PSI which works best with standard water pressure of 60 to 65 PSI. Test the pulsation by pointing it in a safe direction away from you and other workers and squeeze the trigger. We have a strong pulse, that's good. We're ready to connect the tool to the radiator and begin the power clean flush. Due to the larger chambers in the radiator, flooding the radiator first allows for kinetic waves to travel through the water and clear debris more effectively. We'll flood the bottom of the radiator by removing the air connection for a few seconds. With the radiator cap on, we'll reconnect the air and flush from the bottom up first. After a minute or two, we'll finish by flushing the system from the neck down. We'll filter the water as before through a clean white sock attached to a flexible hose. After flushing for two to three minutes, we'll filter the water through a new paper filter. Our filtered water reveals even more contamination. We'll repeat the process with the heater core by attaching this whip end with the smaller cone to the sprayer and holding it onto the inlet heater hose. We've replaced the sock with a new one on the outlet hose, so we're ready to go. After a few seconds of power clean flushing, the sock again turns brown, indicating that a lot of contamination was trapped in the heater core that the common water hose flush did not remove. Here's what we captured from filtering the power flush water from the heater core. The process for the engine block is the same. This time we're connecting the sprayer to the upper radiator hose and collecting the water through the lower radiator hose. A new white sock will give us an immediate indication of the amount of contamination left from the earlier garden hose flush. Three minutes later, and our sock again shows a lot of contamination and our filtered water has left behind more residue. We need to disconnect the shop air immediately after flushing to keep water from discharging through the backflow preventer. Well, we finished our procedure with the Power Clean Flush Tool, and the results are pretty amazing. Here's what we've got. We've got the comparisons from the garden hose flush and the Power Clean Flush. What we have is the block, the heater core, and the radiator. Now, with the exception of the block, the results are dramatic on the other two. Of course, with our first initial flush, no matter what the procedure, the large, bulkier flakes are going to be in that flush. But what's important to remember is this is what's going to be left over after a normal flush. So, as you see, inside the block, there was still material down inside here, and it's very gritty. Inside the heater core, there was material in here, looks like some sort of oxide from uh, copper, and that's very bad for water pump seals. And then over here in the radiator, you can feel and see a lot of sand, a lot of grit. You can see that on the finger. 
This would definitely shorten the life of any new part you installed in this system. These tests prove that common flush procedures are not enough to remove the amount of contaminants present in neglected vehicles. With the PowerClean tool, technicians now can recommend a more thorough flush procedure to consumers. Doing so will increase engine cooling efficiency, protect the life of the water pump, and eliminate unnecessary customer comebacks.